Hey everybody, I had my mic not working there for that last video, so I'm just going to do this again. Uh, I want to touch on uh, Guild Raid Heroes, just Guild Raid in general. And it's not going to be about how it's going to be twice the time, though for the most part it is. By the way, congrats to us, full sweep, seven days, seven day victory, uh, which is awesome for us. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of trash talking and celebrating and whatever going on from other sides uh, between the rivalry with us and, and Reddit, but whatever, it's fine. Um, it's pretty petty to hate on people for when they win. <laughs> um, yeah, so Guild Raid. Monday, this is the team. This is just the team. Here's a, here's how the tier, wor uh, tier list is going to work. This is the team I'm using. And that works really damn good. Uh, Tuesday. You know what? Let's just go ahead and set up already. Uh, Tuesday, team I'm using. What is this? Oh, uh, no, I changed it. Sorry, I changed it completely. Uh, I'll just use this as my, my switch. Uh, uh, Tuesday is uh, zero first. Second is uh, generally Ekaterina or, or Alfred. You need area. Type uh, area attack uh, type heroes. Um, third is um, Dominique because you want your overkill to happen after you get the two rock sigils. And Dominique's just the strongest straight up in your face rock hero, so she gives the best overkill. It is about 2 million damage if you have uh, good enough gear, um, which I know a few people do, but at least another million damage, a million damage. If every hero, uh, every player were willing to do the, uh, the gearing up, that's another. 20 million points on the day, so like, it's super valuable if you do take the time to gear up your overkill uh, heroes if you're able to. Uh, next is oh, is Lilith. Because you need to be able to pull uh, the boss off the water. And then the last hero, of course, is Mizaka. It is a little bit different for you, um, depending on the how high your zero is though. Like if you have your, your zero maxed, I think it'd be better to have a second balance hero and then use zero for your overkill. Uh, but this is generally what I'm using right now. Uh, the mercenary's got to be another area uh, attack type mercenary for the bonus. Uh, and it's super soldier Muzaka with the gold tiger. Uh, sorry I can't be uh, going and showing all the flip positions for all these, but they, I just don't, I don't see a reason to do a tier list for uh, Guild Raid Heroes. Uh, next we get into Wednesday. Now Wednesday, I don't know if there's some other one with the newer heroes, but we are still using Lilid, Lily, uh, we're using Moss and Nox. Um, Nox gives the Lava Train, which is nice. Moss, we could get rid of uh, Nox maybe for you know, just something more overpowered for better overkill. Um, if only if we can get lava sets on all the Lees, and then Lee, of course, and then a Lee Mercenary. Um, this is generally the team for that. Pull it loads, smack onto the, the Sigil, uh, have Nox overkill, then Moss uh, basically gets a ton. That Moss needs to be geared to kill uh, in the position he's being in. His co op damage is obscene. Uh, it's not really. Uh, value to have a little bit stronger Lee and a weaker Moss because uh, Moss gets the 30% bonus where Lee gets a 30% negative modifier. That's a 60% swing. It's just like you get better value for gearing up Moss uh, as the, the, the guy that'll be making the kills here. But um, not saying to make your Lee's weaker, just saying that make sure your Moss isn't so weak. Alright, Wednesday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Alright, Thursday is mostly RNG. Now, I've we, we had, I think, Velus one week got 50 million points, uh, which is weird, actually. It's very weird uh, because I had some of the Reddit members, um, I believe it was 50, I think it was 51 million points. I'll have to go check our. Our, our line hall of fame here but um, uh, 
we, we had uh, some Reddit members tell us, um, and this is, I'm not trying to cast any doubt on this, I 100% believe it. Um, we had some Reddit members say that they had their score go into the 44 to 49 million range, something like that. Um, and the scores were not counted. So, um, oh man, Vic, where'd you have this Hall of Fame picture set? Oh, sorry, no, it was only 43 million points. Okay, I'm wrong here. Oh, yeah, Vel Velis got 43 million, um, 900,000 points versus uh, Paul Troy uh, one day with just straight RNG. He did an RNG surround strategy. He used Reyna, Lee, Lena, Yekaterina, and double wrap off. And with that, he was able to keep the boss disarmed for all 50 turns. Uh, but he d well, he did get into the 44 million range, which means he must have at least killed boss 10 still count his score. Um, whatever. Conversation for another time. Um, but with the RNG that does have the potential, now we have been kind of thinking that we would probably as our guild just get better value if we just made a very good in your face mid tanky, just a well balanced team uh, to fight the boss with all high dot recovery. Just go until until we die. Maybe throw in like a token token rab off. Um, but I think a, a better way would just kind of be doing the surround strategy. Or if you think the surround strategy is a little bit too much uh, co-op going on, maybe your rab offs are killing too much. Then just use the regular double rab off strategy uh, with Liam Frule if you're able to. Uh, but the the theme I use for that is generally uh, this one right here. The Frul. Lily still at the front? No. I just imagine this is Lily. I don't want to go up there to the end. Lily, uh, Bell, and then double wrap off. Uh, that's what I, I found the most success with. The highest run I ever had, I think, was 27 million. Uh, but uh, oh, I thought it was overpowered, but you know, somebody pulls a 40 plus million point run over 50 turns, perfect disarm all the way through, kind of puts you to shame. Um, okay, for Friday. For Friday, the formation uh, is a little bit sketchy. I, w I probably will be doing a, a, an actual video on this. Um, Korean uh, uh, player sent us a tip, said try, well, like, here's, uh, well, like, a, a, a by, I literally mean a, a tip, like, he hasn't given me. Uh, like a picture with the formation or anything like that, but basically it's just that we don't really need Lily uh, to do it, um, which I believe just involves uh, a certain type of surround to get Muzaka right behind the uh, the boss, the um, rearranging the, 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 the minion that's like a hard on for attacking Muzaka for some reason comes around. He attacks from the direction from behind, uh, hitting two to three targets. The one of the uh, Muzaka will then reposition into the normal place that he's supposed to. The other Lee will go behind to the place that he's supposed to uh, to get the direction strategy. I, I mean, then everything would sort of fit together like that. Um, but he just wants me to, to do a quick test, post the video. You know, it's going to confirm whether or not uh, that's what we got with Kret's uh, Soul Gear. It's really kind of overpowered too. Uh, there's about four strategies that we have because um, some members just can't do the strategy. But for for whatever reason, like even like I'm, I'm not just saying like you know this one's for for weaker people or things like that. Just some members just like they're just not into <laughs> they're they're just not into certain days in guild raid, and, and they just don't have the time or or the care to even bother learning the formation properly or the little tiny things that could happen that would ruin it. Um, but formation that we're going to be going with is Muzaka. Well, I shouldn't say Muzaka first. Uh, it'll be Gillen, Crut, uh, and Moss. Moss never gets any love, so we'll put him on. Uh, and then Muzaka doubly. And that's what we're going to be going with for Friday. 
Now for Saturday, um, it's like there, there's something you need to understand. Ball throw on Thursday. Uh, Bothroy can hit a single target from like eight range away. Like if if Bothroy gets trapped on the left side of the map with the sigil, and you have a hero on the right side of the map that's out of range, he can still hit that minion. Like this is he'll just attack and it'll die. There's uh, there's no way to range that boss unless you have a, a sustainable target that can keep him occupied indefinitely. There's there's no way for it to be done. His passive also has an obscene uh, better range. Also, like even with with Spooky, uh, the way that she was originally designed might not have worked. Uh, but same thing with Juggernaut. Juggernaut kind of has a different issue where he, um, or not Juggernaut. Um, what's the gun boss's name? Whatever. Uh, you you guys all know who I'm talking about for Saturday. Um, he um, has a skill. That he just needs to have a target in a 4x4 box, which gives him a total of 8 range um, on the corners. Um, and straight line, like, like his, his, uh, he's another hero where range is basically no issue for him. Like, there's, there's almost no safe uh, way to do anything. Now, there might be an abuse that you could do with, um, with Deimos and 3 push Lily. However, the problem is that you really don't have any safe places uh, and you have no way to deal with the minions if you're trying to sustain mana and you can't get in enough charges to generate enough mana. So it kind of goes down the toilet. Um, so generally, like, we we're mostly smash based for this day. It's, it's pretty well agreed upon that, like, you know, the, the board is going to have to actually play this one straight up. It's, it's kind of weird to say straight up because most of the days you want to think oh this great strategy but it's mostly we found this way to exploit something that Nexon missed and definitely we, we know for a fact that they didn't anticipate it because well if, if they anticipate us being able to do these things then Reddit wouldn't have been complaining uh, about how their scores weren't being counted on Friday this week so uh, it's definitely not intended by Nexon for us to be getting these kinds of scores um, I, I think Nexon truly did intend for Kilgrave to be a very gear-oriented game mode, like most, to encourage just cat polling in general. But um, that's because Nexon's always the easiest, simplest, most undesirable answer. <laughs> There's no other right answer. But this is the formation I'm going with, and I g usually go with an unknown Merc. Um, and I try to get one that has upsets on it, like a, a four-star Noblesse SS, all three pieces, three-star SS Commander set, um, whatever I can, uh, any other little pinch I can get, because every every percent I get on Sierra's Overkill is just massive value, just obscene value. My highest uh, my highest hits have been over seven hundred thousand uh, per tick. Um, uh, and I generally do get over 5 million points between her attack and Rizal's attack. Uh, I get over 5 million points just with the first two attacks. Uh, close to 6, depending on the Merc. So, I'm not complaining because it really works for me. Uh, I really wish all the rest of my guildies could be as uh, well geared and have. Like, Sears, Sears Soul Gear was one. Like when these Soul Gears came out, I had nothing but complaints. I. I, I'm still upset about them. I think they're alone, but I did t pick up the Sira, Rizal, and Muzaka, um, well, uh, Soul Gears, uh, because I thought, well, Sira's, obs like G Guild Raid was like new and everything, like so it's like, well, Sira does a crap ton of damage now that Guild Raid's out. She's so strong. And then Rizal was this new hero. I was like, well, I can't tell if he's going to be OP or not, or, or not at this point in time, so, you know, that was kind of a gamble. Um, still don't have this anywhere near max. I really should work on that sometime. And, um, and Muzaka's was just so clearly broken. It's, it had to be done. Oh, this got me done. No, I'll do that later. Well, I can wait. That can wait till Saturday. Save those books. 
Um, but generally with this formation, if I give Mu an unknown Beast Rain and Dasso, I can get pretty massive overkill. Um, and the way that I'm doing it with the gear that I'm doing it with, um, I do kind of hit a nice little sweet spot where Mu will kill the boss and then Unknown oh, Unknown will stun. We'll have the chance to stun without killing the boss on turn one. Turn two, um, Sierra or I will kill the, the next stage of the boss, whatever. Then Mu will hopefully get the stun. The unknowns won't be strong enough to kill the next stage. Then the next stage will start. Seer will, or Rai will get the next kill. And it just keeps on going like that. Uh, where it gets back to the unknown stunning. And I don't really have any spots where it's like, oh no, the stunner's going to kill. I just don't have any where I'm at right now. I'm kind of afraid uh, to change any little things. Last week I started using the Gurgus Sandstorm set instead of my Death Blow set because I want to put my Death Blow set on Rizal for the extra. Now giving Rizal the extra and then giving Sierra a little bit more damage because 20% extra modifier is better than 16% more to this new modifier. Um, I ended up actually breaking one of my sweet spots and it really ruins my turn too. <laughs> so <laughs> I uh, I might be switching that one back. Um, I guess there is a point where you're going to be too strong uh, for a certain thing, or there is kind of an ideal zone, or well, there's probably different levels of ideal. Anyway, that's enough for Saturday. Um, it's no real magic to it. It's just the magic of of stun. And then for Sunday, Sunday, the heroes that are, um, I guess the best heroes for this. Uh, the most important thing you need to know is slot 3 needs to be Bell. Lee is your primary DPS but he is not your only DPS. Sion will also DPS. Uh, these, these heroes are in no particular order right now. The only one that's very particular is uh, is Bell and arguably Sion should go last or, or at least act after Muzaka and Valkyrie because uh, Valkyrie and Muzaka will also be in this formation. Um, the the order that I'm using currently is um, uh, Muzaka, Lee, Bell, uh, Valk, Sion. That's the order that I'm currently using. Um, just because of the way that the minions spawn, where I have Sion, I have Sion with four movement. She can go and attack the minions under certain circumstances. It's just better for me to do it a certain way. Um, there's probably a few different ways to do it. Like it's, today's map is kind of all over the place, uh, and unfortunately, if you're just not strong enough or your bell's not strong enough, um, you just won't be able to get very far. So, bell super important hero, probably one of the top uh, heroes in guild raid right now, uh, because unlike Coward Little Lee, who's always hiding behind his five range barrier. Bell's actually in the, the boss's face all the time. Am I alive? Am I alive? Am I alive? And Muzaka, always a monster. Alright, so that's basically it for the Guild Raid heroes. Let's get out of here. Don't save changes. Um, uh, I'm gonna just leave this one here. They can be the all about the Guild Raid thing. Um, I, I, like I said, I really don't want to do a, a, a tier list for for Guild Raid because it just doesn't make any sense. It's just what's good and what's not good, or what's working and what's not working. Um, but I will be posting a, a PvP video uh, soon also.